hello. This is Miss Shally. This week in music, we are going to look at some of the other guitars featured in GarageBand. As we explore their unique sounds, we will experiment with different strumming patterns in autoplay. We will also explore the meaning of tempo and how it changes the feel of the music. And then when you are done, you will complete an exit sheet to upload to Schoology. Let's get started. Open the GarageBand app and let's create a new project. Now notice if it opens up to the last project you were working on, you wanna click on the paper icon to return to the browsing screen. That icon is in the upper left-hand corner. Next, click on the plus sign, the blue plus sign in the upper right-hand corner. We wanna make sure that we have tracks selected at the top, then tap on the word guitar. Set autoplay to setting one and then tap on the acoustic guitar on the left-hand side. You'll notice that we have four other guitars. We're gonna start with classic clean, so go ahead and tap on that guitar. Now let's see what this guitar sounds like. Tap on a bar chord. Remember to get it to stop, you just tap it again, but I wanna keep it going. I'm not going to go through all of the bar chords, but just listen to the unique sounds. And then tap on autoplay setting 2 to hear how it changes. I'm going to go to B flat major here. I'm going to tap on auto setting 3. You can go in any order you would like to go. Then to stop, just tap the bar again. You may have noticed the light and dark blue boxes at the top. Uh, they are called stomp boxes. Guitar players use those to change the tone of their guitars. So for this project, just take some time and play with those and see how they change the sound. Now, I have noticed in GarageBand, sometimes the change is so slight it's hard to notice, at least for classic clean, but you will notice a bigger difference for the other guitars. While a chord is still playing, tap on the settings. It's the gear icon in the upper right-hand corner. Next to tempo, you'll notice that the beats per minute, or BPM, is set to 110. Tap on the arrow next to it. Then tap on the up or the down arrows to change the tempo. I'm going to go down first. You can go back and change the autoplay strumming patterns. Also go back to settings and change the tempo again. Select different chords. This is all a big experiment. Explore all the different chords, the different strumming patterns, and try different tempos. I know some of you are gonna take it all the way to the top, so have fun. When you are done listening to the different strum patterns and experimenting with tempos for classic clean, repeat those same steps for the other three guitars. Now, if you did not complete last week's enrichment project, go ahead and listen to the acoustic guitar. As when you are finished, complete project two exit sheet located in the week one folder and upload to the Schoology assignment project two exit sheet. If you would like to record a song and email it to me, go right ahead. I love hearing your ideas, but that's not required this week. That's all for this week's lesson. Until next time, have fun, stay safe, and keep rocking. Bye-bye.